So many Redditors, and myself included, have been experiencing a lot of intermittent Bluetooth disconnection problems between our Wear OS watch and our Android phone. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple tips that will help you alleviate these types of problems. What's the weather like? So these intermittent disconnection issues started appearing around five to eight months ago, and I'm not sure what is the culprit. I'm not sure which exact Wear OS update caused it because I've been receiving so many Wear OS updates. But this video assumes that you're on the latest version of Wear OS as of April 2019. Lately, it has been really annoying to see that broken cloud icon showing that my phone and my watch have been disconnected. At first, I thought it was my Huawei Watch 2. I thought this issue was exclusive to my specific watch, but after browsing the Reddit forums, I, I, I come to see that a lot of other manufacturers are experiencing the same issues, such as the Tick Watch, the Skygen Foster 2, and um, you know the Sport um, Fossil Sport Watch have been experiencing a lot of these type of issues as well. Also, to clarify, I'm not sure if this issue is exclusive to Android. So, if you're an iOS user, please let me know in the comments down below if you are experiencing similar types of issue with your iOS phone and uh, Wear OS watch. So, the specific issue is that sometimes on your watch face, you'll see a broken uh, cloud icon indicating that your phone has been disconnected. The odd thing is that I'm still able to receive some notifications sometimes, and I'm able to interact with apps that require a live Bluetooth connection. However, services like Google Assistant and Google Play app simply do not work at all. And let me be clear, not having the Google Voice Assistant work reliably almost made me want to throw out my Wear OS watch in the garbage and switch to Garmin or Fitbit. Thankfully, someone on the Reddit forums suggested a really awesome tip that I'm about to show you. So for the first tip, you want to disable all trust agents, or specifically the Google Smart Lock trust agent. So go into your advanced settings on your phone, and then simply disable under trust agents um, the Smart Lock uh, by Google. And to be honest, I'm not really sure what trust agents are for specifically. Um, I think the Smart Lock by Google is meant for uh, cases where you want to have your phone unlocked while you have uh, your watch on you as you go about your day-to-day -day life But for me this type of security is not adequate I prefer to use simply biometrics like your fingerprint or your face ID to open up your phone And for the second tip it's specific for Wear OS watches that actually support voice calls on your wrist Here as you can see it's not connected with call audio. It's just connected regular Bluetooth way You actually have to disable this feature because when I had uh, my Bluetooth connection in which there is call audio that can be routed to my watch, I found that the, dis the connection between my phone and my watch was very flaky. I would get disconnected very often, um, Google Assistant wouldn't work, and most, impor most, most importantly, I would actually miss important phone calls because I wouldn't get notified on my wrist that someone's calling me. And that's, part of the one, that's one of the main reasons why I have a smartwatch, is to be notified of important phone calls. So ironically, this, this type of feature actually prevents that from happening. Now I think it's a shame that I can't have voice calls on my wrist if, because my Huawei Watch 2 supports it, um, but in reality, in, in, in all practical terms, having a long conversation on your wrist isn't very um, comfortable or very practical. And two other really minor things is to make sure that battery optimization on your phone is disabled for the Wear OS app. Now for me, uh, by default, it's, it was already disabled, but it's worth double checking in your app settings. So go to applications and then go to Wear OS and just make sure that um, battery optimizations is disabled. If you actually open the Wear OS app and there's, in the case that you don't have it, um, you do have it enabled optimization, it will warn you, say like, it'll give you a prompt on the Wear OS app, on the phone app, telling you that you need to disable this feature so that the Wear OS app on the phone can actually live in the background and maintain a Bluetooth connection with your Wear OS watch. Lastly, I think turning off Wi-Fi really helps with battery and I don't see it actually, I'm not sure if it actually contributes to any disconnection issues with the Bluetooth, but I find that having it disabled uh, doesn't interfere with Bluetooth and saves a lot of battery. Now, sometimes I do get a little bit of disconnection, but it's really minor and it doesn't happen as frequently as it did before. I really hope Google releases some patches for their Wear OS app that make these things go away without any disconnections so that I can use all the features of my smart smartwatch without any compromises. Anyway, that's it for this video. Please leave some comments down below if it did work for you. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please give a like and subscribe for more Wear OS type of content. See you in the next one.